Good morning and welcome to another morning devotion. I trust that all of our dads had a wonderful Father's Day on yesterday. And we will dub this week Father's Day week as we seek to devote and pray and encourage our fathers in the faith and those who may not yet know the Lord as Savior, that you will come to know him who is life everlasting. Indeed, happy Father's Day to all of our fathers. God bless you and God keep you. Our reading today comes from Genesis chapter 18, verse 19, and it reads, For I know him that he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he had spoken to him. This scripture can be applied to all male men because we are all called to be godly fathers from our birth. Just as our Heavenly Father is to us, we are called to be that to our families and indeed our children. It is said that Abraham not only prayed with his family, but he taught them as a man of God. Nay, he commanded them as a man of authority, and he was prophet and king as well as priest in his own household. Yes, God expects fathers to be in a household. He expects fathers to be married with a wife, and they together have children so that the authority and all of the governance is done in the household. And we thank God for our fathers who have waited on God in this way. But we know some of our fathers have children outside of the household. God still expects you to be godly to them. And it's going to be difficult, but nevertheless, you have allowed it, and so God expects it. And we thank God that we have an example from God himself. And he called us as fathers to be prophet. Yes, we need that word from God for our families. We need the word of God to keep our families going according to the will of God. We also call to be priests. That means we must be before God on behalf of our families. All of those difficult situations in our families, we just need to go to God and ask for direction. And he also called us to be king. We must provide. We must have full domain over our household. Yes, we must command them according to the word of God. And when we do that, God will do the rest. Yes, fathers, during this week, we seek that we will heed to the voice of God and we will seek God to be better fathers. And we give thumbs up to fathers who are doing their best. And we say, continue. And those fathers who are struggling, we say, God got you. Just put our trust in him and you will be the godly father that God has called you to be. Let us pray. Father, thank you for the gift of fatherhood. And we praise you for those who lead the nations that are fathers, that they will continue to look to you as Abraham did. We pray for the medical professionals. We pray those who are leading in this fight against this dreaded disease, that they will indeed lead according to your will as fathers. Thank you for those who lead in the body of Christ as fathers. We pray a blessing continually. Now we ask that you will heal the sick this morning. You will deliver those who are in bondage. More importantly, O oh God, you will help those who are in bereavement. We pray Pray for the peace of Jerusalem and families everywhere. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, fathers. Trust that we have a great week. Trust that we have a great week with the Lord. Have a great day. Amen.